Did you know that allergies are one of the top reasons that dogs are euthanized? That's because treating allergies is expensive, frustrating, and it usually doesn't work. Now, that might have you reaching for the prescription allergy drugs, but I wanna show you some home remedies that aren't harmful for your dog or her immune system. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a list of the natural remedies that I think go from most likely to be effective to least likely, but all of them are tried and true. But you'll just need to find the one or two that works for your dog because allergies are a deep-seated immune system issue that aren't an easy fix. So be patient and methodical with this list and find what works for your dog. Now, first is the most important home remedy for allergies, and that's probiotics. And you have to do this one no matter what, because you won't have much luck managing your dog's allergies if you don't look at her gut health. Now, the bacteria living in your dog's gut are an important part of her immune system, and research shows that the more diverse the species of bacteria that live in the gut and the more species, the lower the incidence of allergies. In fact, some species of bacteria protect your dog against allergies all by themselves. Now, one of the biggest threats to these beneficial bugs is antibiotics along with prescription drugs. So it's a really good idea that you're trying home remedies before resorting to drugs for your dog's allergies. An important part of this as well is prebiotics and probiotics. They'll help build more diverse communities of bacteria in the gut, which will help build a better immune response in your dog. And this is especially true if your dog has food sensitivities because a healthy gut has a proper lining that stops undigested proteins from leaking through and causing itching and inflammation. Now, you should also use the right foods to feed beneficial colonies of bacteria in your dog. So make sure you give your dog a daily serving of berries and cruciferous veggies. Their fiber will feed the beneficial gut bacteria and in turn, they'll bolster his gut lining and stop allergens from leaking through. Now, I recommend soil-based probiotics like Bacillus sativus because these guys can survive the stomach acids and it helps grow other species of bacteria, which is exactly what you need to do in dogs with allergies. And if you think your dog's gut is leaky and inflamed, which it probably is if your dog has any allergies, then a good probiotic to look for is Pediococcus acetylactici. Now, the next home remedy is bovine colostrum. Now, colostrum is found in the first milk when babies are born, and it's there to help the newborn's immune system and digestive tract develop. In fact, animals that are bottle fed are way more likely to have allergies because they miss out on colostrum. And the good news is colostrum has benefits for adult animals too. And that's because colostrum contains something called proline rich polypeptide or PRP. Now PRP changes the way that the immune system responds to allergens like fleas or grass. It helps switch off the immune response to allergens and it reduces histamine. Colostrum also contains antibodies to common allergens, and that's because cows develop antibodies to the pollen, fleas, and other allergens that they're exposed to, and then they pass these antibodies to their calves through colostrum so that the calves don't develop allergies to otherwise harmless substances. So when you give your dog colostrum, he gets the same benefit. Now, colostrum works especially well for seasonal or environmental allergies. It usually comes in a powder and you can give your dog about an eighth of a teaspoon per 25 pounds of body weight. Twice daily is good and try to give it away from his meals and maybe a little bit of broth. And by the way, if you like this video, do me a favor and just let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, our team is always happy to help you out. Now, the next home remedy might surprise you, and it surprised me too, but medicinal mushrooms can really help dogs with allergies. Some species of mushrooms like reishi, maitake, and shiitake contain a little fiber called beta-glucan. Now, these beta-glucans, which are only found in mushrooms, by the way, they can change the immune response to allergies. They're adaptogens, and this means that they help the immune system respond normally, which doesn't happen with allergies. 
Maitake is a great adaptogenic mushroom that balances the immune response, while reishi contains compounds called triterpenoids that act like natural steroids to inhibit histamine production. Just make sure that the mushrooms that you buy contain the whole mushroom and aren't just mycelium. They should also be hot water and alcohol extracted to make sure that your dog gets the benefits from their beta-glucans and triterpenoids. Now, these beneficial compounds have to be extracted for your dog to use them, so you just can't give ground up mushrooms. And you wanna give about 200 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight daily. Now, next is quercetin. This is a phytonutrient that's found in fruits and plants, and it's a pretty impressive antihistamine. In fact, quercetin is called nature's Benadryl because of its ability to turn off that histamine that, that makes dogs itchy. Now, one of the best food sources that's also healthy for dogs is apple skins, but just make sure they're organic and give them a good scrub. You can also give a supplement, and I would give about 160 milligrams for every 20 pounds of body weight. Now, the next home remedy is omega-3 fats. These are the healthy fats that you already know about that come from fish and marine oils. But there are four anti-inflammatory fats that can calm down the inflammation that drives allergies and itchy skin. And those are EPA, ETA, SDA, and DLA. Now, EPA is found in fish and marine oils, while both EPA and ETA are found in green lip muscle oil. SDA and GLA come from plants, and the best source is ahi flour, although you can find lesser amounts in hemp seed and eating primrose oil. Technically, GLA is an omega-6 fat, but these four anti-inflammatory fats can help turn off pathways that cause your dog to feel inflamed and on fire. A great approach to allergies to, is to give a double or triple dose for 30 days, and this is often enough to get your dog's itching back under control. So those are the major home remedies. Now, there's also herbs like nettles, aloe vera leaf, and licorice root that can help. They all help relieve the inflammation that can drive allergies. And finally, this is a cool little trick. Mix a little baking soda with water and use this paste on your dog's itchiest areas for a few hours to help reduce the itching. This is really great for itchy feet. Just spread it between the toes and on top of them. Stopping the biting and scratching will reduce the risk that your dog gives herself a secondary bacterial infection and it'll give your dog some well-deserved relief and a good night's sleep. So try bathing your dog in a natural shampoo before bedtime, then apply the baking soda paste right afterward. It'll give your dog a good night's sleep. Now, you'll probably have to use more than one of these home remedies, but the most important part is a healthy gut and clean living. Avoid chemicals and drugs that can cause inflammation in your dog and use these natural remedies. The key is just to not harm your dog's immune system and avoid the side effects that can cause serious harm in your dogs. Now, if you have any questions about your dog's allergies or immune system, just leave a comment below and check out the links for research and more information. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.